in today's episode of Juiciness, I will tell you one thing um, a masculine man will never give up just to be with a woman. Are you ready? Let's go. Now, you know, I've heard and read from experts saying that women can become that kind of woman that makes a man give up his freedom to be with her. Well, the truth is that no man is ever going to give up his freedom to be with you. Not a single masculine man on earth will ever give up his feeling of freedom just to be with any woman. Because freedom is at the heart of being a man. It's at the heart of his masculinity. And I mean the feeling of freedom here. I am not saying that no man can ever not be monogamous, all right? They can be. I'm talking about the feeling of freedom within his masculine soul. Now, the matter of fact is that most men want to genuinely commit to you for the right reasons when he feels more freedom by being with you than he does by not being with you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Do you get my drift? Men love your freedom. And if you want to kill his love for you, kill his freedom. Restrict his freedom to be in his masculine energy. And half the time, women do this. They do it out of fear that their men will go astray or they will be snatched or that they're not good enough for their men. Listen, yes, the competition is high out there. There is no doubt about it. And then there is absolutely nothing you can do about it to stop that competition. But please respect yourself. Respect yourself to know that You can be enough for this one man forever. Now, once you have this confidence and this mindset, you will start to see him change and you will attract something completely different in a man. And if you're single, you will attract a completely different kind of man. All right. You might even find out that you attract men who truly value you and want to make you their one and only woman for life because you're giving them that freedom to be in their masculinity. Most of us have no idea how much influence we have over a man. We don't realize the power of strong belief and great mindset. Now, listen to me. When we have that courage to acknowledge that we can and we already have it within us to be more than enough for a man for life, you know what? We bring more power to ourselves. After all, men will either make you their one and only or their one of many women depending on how you position yourself. So you've got to always remember that when men meet you, they will put you in either one of two baskets, the one and only basket or the one of many baskets, all right? And if you're in the one and only basket, he will never ever want to give you up. He will be in love and he will give you all of his resources every last muscle because he sees you differently from all other kind of women that he has met on a daily but when he categorizes you as one of many be sure to know that he will give you crumbs and if you notice this please walk away so always have this framework at the back of your mind when you meet a guy that you like it's all in the actions and not words money it's not in the words because it's when you add enough value when you show up as a woman of value to men that you can easily slip into the one and only basket for most men do you get what i'm saying that's the honest truth and listen you're not showing up as one with value for the sole purpose of getting him to yourself you are of value it is who you are you're not faking it or you're not trying to manipulate his emotions for you All right, you're not doing any of that stuff. If he sees the value in you, fine. If he doesn't, oh well, he's lost. There's always a man out there for every woman. You just have to have the courage of conviction that he will find you and you will patiently wait for him whilst you go on about your graciousness daily. You're not stopping your life for anyone. So here are three action steps um, to stop your man from feeling dissatisfied with only you. And, you know, you just get him to desire only you and commit all his attention to only you. Number one, stop asking him whether he's attracted to other women. 
and stop focusing on his possible attraction to other women. I know it's hard not to compare yourself with other women, but hey, you compare yourself when you start to doubt who you are. Listen, where your focus goes, that's where the energy flows. So the more you focus on the possibility of his desires for other women, the more likely you are to damage your relationship and push him away because you're leading with fear rather than leading with value. And ultimately, the less power you claim for yourself. Are you feeling my drift? Because really, it's exhausting to be with someone who is always looking out for possible reasons to prove that they're not enough for you. Just imagine yourself being with a man like this. You would lose respect for him. So stop it if you're that kind of woman who compares herself with women out there or you're fretting that he's in love or he's desiring other women out there. There are lots of women out there and he's definitely going to desire women out there. But you know your value. You know what you bring to the table, all right? Oh my God, I don't know if my lighting is okay or not. Stop it if you're the kind of woman who frets. Stop it entirely. But instead, focus on a new truth that you can be the dream woman for this man that he may not even feel exists right now. All right? Truth is, most men have no idea what they want and what they would like to commit to until she shows up in front of them and this is typically not different to a guy asking you what turns you on sexually it's hard to answer that question it, it's hard to answer what turns you on but on the flip side of the coin it's much better that a man shows you what will turn you on and give you the opportunity to feel turned on the same thing is true for men and commitment they don't know exactly what it takes in order for them to commit to you and give you everything until it shows up in front of them until you're the kind of woman that juices him and makes him unable to have room for any other woman in his mind it's it's just dependent on you basically all right so Every single time that you notice yourself looking for signs that he might be attracted to other women out there, instantly just bring your focus back to yourself and back to what you can do. Trust me, this is the power of having a high value mindset. Mm, 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 mm. Number two, every time that you notice yourself feeling insecure about other women or about him not being satisfied, <laughs> stop what you're doing. Excuse yourself to you know maybe go to the bathroom or go to the bedroom or you could just jump up and down on that spot whatever you need to do to get your focus back to you just so that you could change your physical mindset or your physical state of mind do something crazy to change your focus all right do anything just to change your physical state because fear is physical and you cannot make the right decisions or be the woman he wants when you're coming from a place of fear. Any time that you're fearful, your heart rate is raised. Your body's whole biochemistry changes. This is why it is so important to simply change your physical state of, of mind because changing your physical state of mind also changes your emotional state. All right, number three, you need to start telling yourself a different story from the ones that you've been used to from the ones that you've heard over time you know we all make up stories in our heads as a way of justifying our sufferings or a way of you know basically just justifying what we don't have or what we haven't achieved a lot of us have stories that are completely lies that we have told ourselves over time stories like oh men are always cheats and can't be faithful to what woman or my relationship never lasts you know, longer than a few months or stories like I am not the kind of woman men are irresistibly drawn to. Or maybe you give stories like, oh, men always leave no matter how much I try to fulfill his needs. He always leaves or he always wants something else. I just can't keep him interested no matter what you do. He will never be loyal to you. See, over time, we all tell our silly stories that are untrue. So you need to tell yourself a better story because I believe that being able to stare a man's desire and trigger his attention are things that you can learn. You just have to tap into the deepest um, recesses of your mind and make a new story that 
you believe like, oh, I am more than enough for this man. I have always been enough. You know, I know the truth. I have just been lying to myself. The truth is that I have everything that I need within me right now to be more than enough, sexy enough, you're smart enough, you're poised enough, you're beautiful enough, all of that good stuff. And I have access to this power within me right now. All right? Today, not tomorrow, not next month, not next year. Now, right now. So you need to write down what your old stories are. Stories that you've been telling yourself, lies that you've been telling yourself. Whether it's that men, ne men are never satisfied or men are horribly complicated creatures that are difficult to work with. And you really need to dig deep here. A lot of most of these negative stories are etched deep in our subconsciousness after telling ourselves the same story for years and years on. And once you've written out, you know, this old story that you've been telling yourself, you need to write down what your new story is and start telling yourself the new story. For example, your new story is, um, you know, I am ridiculously attractive and I'm irresistible. I am an irresistible woman who always has something new and better to bring to the table. All I need to do is just get a, you know, a bit more understanding of men and, you know, stop telling myself lies about my own capabilities and desirabilities, you know? And once you've written this new story now, you must also acknowledge that most of us have just never been taught what truly attracts men and makes them go crazy with desire for, you know, for us day after day, year after year. The same way most of us have never been taught how to maintain business, how to initiate and take control of our destiny. That's why 90% of all businesses fail within the first five years because we've not been totally educated on how to hold on or maintain businesses. In fact, most of us have totally lost touch with the natural femininity and, you know, intuition needed to be successful in courtship or in relationship or in marriages with men because we've become one dimensional women. So if you want to go deeper and take things to the next Next level in your love life or in your relationship you need to come over and learn what 99.9 .9 women out there will never know about men and relationship and when you are able to walk on your mind and your security um, by yourself you will see how freely you let men fly because you know that you come different and if he messes up it's his loss and you'll be forever gone a wise man will not play with such liberty because you have given him room to be at peace with himself, free in his masculinity because you come correct as a woman who is independently self-assured of his love. No reasonable man will mess with that, I think. I honestly think. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, don't you forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a video here. And I will be right back in your faces tomorrow. Okay. Mwah.